When it comes to combating the climate catastrophe that we face, there is one thing that is never included in the conversation, and that is the role of the military in our climate crisis. The US military is the biggest institution polluter on the planet. The Pentagon uses up more petroleum than any other organization or institution on the planet. If the Pentagon was itself a country, it would be the 47th largest polluter on the planet. The US military has over 800 military bases around the world. And what these bases do is, first of all, destroy the environment in the places they are located simply to create the base in the first place. Secondly, because of the massive use of weaponry, aircraft carriers, of jets, of tanks, etc., etc., the emissions from these bases are absolutely massive. And then the third primary way in which the military despoils our environment is actually through conflict. Think about the bombs which poison soil for generations and generations to come. The American military used chemical weapons such as Agent Orange in Vietnam. The capacity of these chemical weapons to deforest massive areas of landmass. This not only had a devastating impact on people at that time, but those sorts of impacts continue until today. In understanding the links between climate and conflict, it's really important to understand that the defense industry, the weapons makers, the mercenary organizations, as well as homeland security industries and border security industries, actually profit from the climate crisis. They sell the weapons that cause conflict in many parts of the world. Those conflicts result in huge numbers of people fleeing their homelands. And then those same companies make huge amounts of money from keeping those fleeing refugees from entering our countries. And whenever people relocate en masse, the environment is a victim. If we think about the more than $2 trillion a year that is spent on narrowly defined security and national defense, in order to sustain defense and military spending at these ridiculous levels, the mainstream media, the military industrial complex, and our governments are all trying to convince us that the greatest security threats we face are military. The greatest threats to human security are global health pandemics and the climate crisis. Imagine what we could do with over two trillion dollars in terms of new sources of renewable energy, completely transforming the sort of vehicles we travel in. But instead, we have a situation where a country like the United Kingdom spends more than 40 billion pounds a year on defense and national security, and just about three billion pounds a year on addressing the climate catastrophe. Another shocking fact is that Britain's military is responsible for half the government's total CO2 emissions. Despite this, the military's devastating impact on the environment won't even be on the agenda at COP26. How have our governments, in cahoots with the military, developed such extraordinary power that we don't question the ways in which they're using two trillion dollars to supposedly keep us safer? And the way they've done that is by hiding everything that the military does, both legitimate and criminal, behind a veil of national security imposed secrecy. This notion of the military not having to report its impact on the environment is unacceptable. What we have seen our governments and our militaries do is they've become very adept at what we might want to call greenwashing. We are committed to reducing the impact of our activities and products on the environment. This is our future. A few years ago, when I was working on a book on the global arms trade, I interviewed a senior executive from BAE Systems, one of the biggest arms companies in the world. And she very proudly told me about a green bomb they were developing. A bomb that kills people, but does so in ways that has a less damaging effect on the environment. So a few months later, as the book was ready for publication, I phoned the company again to find out the progress on the green bomb. The response I received from their corporate affairs department was, nah, we gave up on that idea, it was just too expensive. However green the military might label this equipment, 
it is still having devastating impacts on the environment. And of course, it's still killing human beings. We as citizens have a responsibility to hold our leaders and our military to account. The climate catastrophe is the greatest and most profound existential threat that faces humanity. But it also provides us with an opportunity to see ourselves as one humanity by creating a world that is both peaceful and sustainable. We can come together and improve the quality of life of our entire human family across the only planet that we have. When it comes to climate and conflict, when it comes to all of the major issues of our day, the mainstream media is failing us. Please support independent media. Please support and become a patron of Double Down News.